All right, you read the title correctly. I'm gonna be showing five ways that you can make studying more fun. Not something you expected, right? Let's get started. All right, starting off with number one, which is to study with friends. Studying with friends is very controversial because on one hand, it can be really helpful with your revision because you can all share ideas with each other and you can help each other to complete the tasks. But on the other hand, it can end up being so fun that it just becomes impossible to study in that environment. But if you can keep track of the studying period, then it can end up being really effective and also fun. Number two is to change your location because studying gets boring for so many students because there's no change of scene. You have to sit down on the same desk and study for so many hours, which is why you can make studying way more fun by changing your location from something like this to a place like this, which will really change up the way that you study and it can actually make it way more fun. But to be honest, I wouldn't really recommend studying this weather. All right, moving on to number three, which is use the pre-MAC principle, which is basically rewarding yourself for an action that you complete. Using the pre-MAC principle is a really useful and fun technique that you can use because it disciplines and motivates yourself to study during the time that you have and it also allows you to look forward to something at the end of your studying so you can say to yourself that you're not going to take that reward unless you complete x amount of tasks or if you study for a certain amount of time so it's kind of similar to the pomodoro technique now the fourth way that you can make studying a bit more fun is related to how you take notes whilst you're studying so i'm not just talking about using colorful pens and highlighters to make your notes look a bit more aesthetic but i'm also talking about how you take notes so you could take notes digitally like on an iPad which most students seem to do or you could take notes and write stuff down while you're studying on a whiteboard which is something that I do as well it all depends on personal preference but this technique really improves experience that you have whilst you're studying which can make studying less boring and a bit more fun and finally number five is to use the Feynman technique which is an unusual way of memorizing or testing your understanding of a topic that you just recently learned and it essentially involves you simplifying that long piece of information into a chunk of content that a seven-year-old could understand which trust me seems harder than you think it really is and it can also turn out to be more fun making your studying really effective so that was it. All the tips that can help you make your revision or studying more fun. Just uh, an announcement that I wanted to make um, as we go into 2022. I wanted to tell you that my goal well, by the end of 2022 is 5,000 subscribers. You can all make that possible by hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future uploads. If you did want to know what type of flashcards to make for GCSE or A-level revision, then click here. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.